From 4 News Now, with live updates throughout the day, breaking news as it happens, and weather every 10 minutes. This is KXLY+. Plus. Good afternoon for 4 News Now. I'm Rob King. Today, I'm going to be speaking with the actor who's playing Elsa on Disney's Frozen, the Tony-nominated musical coming to Spokane's first Interstate Center for the Arts Wednesday, July 24th through Sunday, August 4th. Tickets are on sale now. Joining me is Caroline Bowman. Caroline, how are you? Hi, I'm good. Happy to be here. <laughs> awesome. Are you guys on tour now? Yeah, we're in Vancouver, actually. So oh, fun. How's it Out going of the country. So Amazing. I mean, I've been on the tour for five years minus a pandemic, so I'm oh not goodness. I'm not new to this at all. <laughs> so are you you've got to be the longest running Elsa then? I think I might be the longest running Elsa in the world. That would which track. I, I'm like, that's that's kind of cool. That's really yeah. cool. I mean, there's a reason. There's a reason. It's a it's an incredible show and it's an incredible role and it fills so many of my artistic needs and so i've i haven't been able to let it go yet <laughs> now frozen's coming to spokane uh later on this month people have seen the movie most people and uh everyone's probably heard let it go whether willingly or unwillingly uh <laughs> what are some of the differences people can expect with the musical well i promise you and I'm not saying, I'm, I humbly say this, you have not seen or heard Let It Go like this. With our orchestra, with our special effects, with the costumes, and then the orchestrations, and then I sing it a little differently than you've heard before. So um, I promise you, if you have heard Let It Go hundreds of times, you haven't heard it like this or seen it like this. So um, I can give you that. Um, and then to top it all off, there's 12 new songs that you haven't heard from the movie. Um, there's, it's just a, it's kind of a deeper take on this story and this sisterly love and their relationship and Anna and Elsa and where they're both coming from and their traumas. And I mean, you know, we kind of like take a deep dive into Frozen. If So if you love Frozen, it's gonna be what you love plus so much more. And, I think oh, that's gosh, super I just, interesting too, because yeah. they, they gloss over, not gloss, but they go from young to being old and kind of instilling that trauma that they went through. So I think exploring those characters a little more has gotta be exciting, especially as an actor. Absolutely, absolutely. And it, and it you can, it's everything you love from Disney, the Disney magic and, and everything you know and love, but, but we as adult actors get to, dive in deeper about what these these characters went through and um, something we don't really get in the movie. So um, yeah, it's really special. Now you say you sing Let It Go a little different than what people are used to. Was that a uh, character choice that you took or is that how the musical is kind of set up to do? I mean, th yes, the music is a little different than, than what they do in the movie. Um, but I, you know, I have been living with this role for a long time, and so she's kind of just become a part of me. And so what I do is going to be different from other humans. You know, we are all our, our singular beings. So um, I, I kind of have my own take, and it depends on the day. And if I'm feeling a little bit, you know, more feisty on certain days, I, I kind of throw some extra riffs in there and change it up a bit. So... Um, and that's interesting yeah, to note you that, know. you know, you're obviously a different person from Idina Menzel and the actors who have played it in, on Broadway. Uh, so how do you either look at their performances and try to steer away from some things? Or do you look at their performances and like maybe, oh, that's an interesting choice. I should try that. How, how does other performances of this character kind of inform uh, your role? Well, I don't think I ever try to steer away from anything because the actors who have come before me are brilliant and they're the reason I can play the role. So the the what's what's amazing about this is the the blueprint was there and you know Casey Levy originated the role on Broadway and Adina Menzel originated the role in the movie and so I have a beautiful blueprint to draw from and then I pick and choose what works for me and um, but it's not really steering away I feel like it's building upon I just build upon what what has been built for me and and it's I love I love Elsa. 
I love her, and I the, she's the Disney queen that I dreamed of that I didn't know I dreamed of as a kid that wasn't didn't ever exist, and now she exists. And and absolutely, yeah. So, what was it like the yeah. first time to to put on what's now an iconic wig, the iconic blue dress, and doing that for the first time five years ago? That must have been incredible. Yeah. Um, really empowering. I feel really empowered when I put on her dress and um, I, I, it really helps me become her. I look in the mirror and I'm like, wow, I am her. You know, I don't really look like her uh, um, in everyday life. So when I, I really do become Elsa when I put on her outfit and her wig and um, it, it suits me. <laughs> I see Elsa and Anna as kind of a modern uh, Elphaba and Glinda. Mm -hmm. And as someone who's very familiar with the role of Elphaba, does doing that in this iconic modern setting, does that uh, come with extra responsibility or more pressure? Totally. I think I don't, it's a big responsibility playing these roles, especially because they are so well known and people put expectations on these roles. Um, so that makes it a challenge. I love a challenge. So it doesn't scare me. It kind of fuels me. And then um, I don't take it lightly. I really do try to honor these roles every single day. You know, I get the question a lot how I can do this for so long. And I think I think about people seeing the show for the first time and how, and my greatest compliment I get is that um, I think someone last night at the stage door said to me, thank you for respecting this role so much. And I think that's what I do is I, I respect it. I respect what it means to people, the, the playing the role of Elsa and what Elsa means to everyone. And so I, 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 even on days when I'm feeling really tired, I kind of, I take that and I, and I, it's in my soul and I, I just do the best I can every single day to to respect this role and respect what she means to people. How is it playing a woman who stands up for what she believes and really fights for herself? How does that, how does that inspire you? Well, I mean, I feel, I feel like playing Elsa for the last five years, having her in my life for the last five years has made me feel more confident about what I have to offer the world and my gifts and who I am and f feeling really planted in that and grounded in that. Um, and so, and I think that's, you know, that's the whole, Elsa's whole journey is kind of stepping into her power and owning it and not really knowing how to do that before. And then also realizing that none of us have to walk through this life alone, that we need community, that we need our family, whether it's the family we're born into or the family that we create ourselves. And um, I, you know, I think having had this role before the pandemic and then having this role after the pandemic and all of us being separated by fear and then coming back together and realizing that we are all better together is the story of Frozen. And so it's been very kind of meta <laughs> doing this, this telling this story and then also playing this role. And I've grown, I've grown up, I've grown into the woman I am today playing this role. And so it's, um, it's been quite a journey. Awesome. Well, Caroline, you've been extremely generous with your time. Uh, is there anything else you would like to add before I let you go? You won't be disappointed. And I can't wait to come back to Washington. We were in Seattle um, in, I think, February of 2020, right before oh, wow. we all, sh <laughs> all shut down. So um, we haven't been back in a minute. And Seattle the the Washington State audiences were very generous with us, so I'm we're really excited to come back. Awesome, Caroline, thank you so much. I appreciate your time. You're so welcome. Thank you for having me. Thank you, Caroline Bowman, for joining me. If you missed some of the interview, you can watch the whole thing on KXLY Plus and KXLY.com. Tickets are on sale for Disney's Frozen at First Interstate Center for the Arts Wednesday, July 24th through Sunday, August 4th. Uh, the tickets link, you can find that on kxly.com. Thanks for watching.